Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? How's it going? Good, it was good. A great day, and how about you? Doing good too, it has been a great day. It has been a great day. <laughs> okay. What have you been up to? What have you been up to? Oscar. Okay. What have you been up to, guys? Up to. What have you been up to? No. For me, I... Mm, se dice? El techo. You say the roof? The roof? Yeah. The roof. We changed the roof to my house. Okay. Wow. So... You can say I, it's hard. Okay, I've been okay. I've been working been working at home. Or yeah, I've been working at home. Okay. Um doing home chores. Really? This goes far. Okay. So uh, working doing home chores. Oscar changing the roof. Wow. Due to the winter? No, in the for living room. For oh. one room. Oh, okay. The roof, changing the roof of the living room and uh, bedroom. Yes, only. Okay, that's it. Okay, just that. Excellent. Very good. Okay, somebody else. Ulises, what have you been up to? teacher uh, today i've been resting in my house good really i like that i've been resting in my house very simple jose what have you been up to i i just been watching tv and listening to music basically easier i've just been okay watching tv i like that TV and listening to music and listening music. Okay, good, excellent, very good, guys. As you can see, using present perfect is very simple. Uh, Gloria, what have you been up to? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I've been making many things. I've been doing. I've been doing. Okay. Yeah, if you've been making. Okay, if you've been making things like uh, cake, eggs, um, what else? I've been making, um, oh, making, it's like producing something, just to produce something like cooking, making is mm. right. Yeah, making. Yeah, okay. Coser de, de, de máquina, sí. Oh, okay. No entraría ahí. Sewing? Okay, you've been sewing. Mm. Like a sew, sew, okay. Uh, let me see. Hold on. If I remember correctly. Yeah, sewing. That's the word. So you've been sewing. Sewing. Mm -hmm. Or you can, as we saw yesterday, knitting. Okay, knitting. Knit, knitting. Mm -hmm your hands that's when you use your hands yes uh -huh. knitting sewing okay uh, okay okay i've been making some uniforms i've been making some cakes i've been making um a lot of things okay but doing a lot of things at home oh. that's right i've been doing a lot of things at home okay very good. Mirna, what have you been up to? Yes, teacher. Hello. What have you I've been doing cooking? Cookies? Cookies? Cooking. Okay. I've been cooking cookies. <laughs> okay. Okay. I 
cookies. Uh, study. Studying, uh huh. Is work, work and life. Work yes. or trabajo en línea. Oh, and working online. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Carlos, what have you been up to? Hello. Uh, I've been eating some fruits. Bananas, apples, uh, guayaba. <laughs> okay, and you're mentioning, very good. I've been eating some fruits like apples, bananas, guayabas, very good. Okay, great job. Patricia, what have you been up to? I hear yet. Okay. So you see, it's very simple. Uh, the way you use the present perfect, it can be combined as well with the present participle, ing. Okay. And that makes actually the present perfect progressive. Acabamos de estar, se llama presente perfecto progresivo. Una acción después de I've been, I've been, I haven't been eating, I haven't been eating, have I been eating. This is un nuevo tema, okay? Uh, de momento, El presente perfecto lo podemos decir así, I've been to Paris, I've been to Paris, I've been to London, I've been sick, listen, I've been sick, okay, I've been tired. So, let's continue with our platform. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of feedback. Somebody's speakers are too loud. Okay. Teacher, podría, podría ser. Yo tengo ese ruido. Yes, Patricia. Hay un, um, quizás está muy alto sus speakers. Porque sí se le escucha, se le escucha bien fuerte el feedback. Um, Abigail, quería decir algo? Okay, so let's move on, guys. I have a little game for you today, um, so we can practice a little bit more with, yes. Podría, podría ser, no, tengo problema con un eco ahí, mejor me voy a desconectar y vuelvo a entrar. Menos, Patricia, si gusta, haga su pregunta. No, solo de, I been painting my house, por ejemplo. Planting, como de plantar plantas? No, de pintar, painting. Painting, a painting house. Very good, I paint in my house, very good. Okay, so a topic that we saw before, last topic was the present perfect versus the simple past. So let's check that, um, let's check that through exercises, okay? I have a little game for you, <laughs> okay? So I'll go one by one with you here. I will continue, let's see, with, I'm gonna start again with Lisa's and then I move down until I reach Imperatriz, good evening. Okay, or you know what, I'm gonna do the opposite. Voy a empezar de abajo para arriba, okay? Good evening, teacher. <laughs> good evening, Imperatriz. Okay, Imperatriz, you're number one right now, okay? You're okay. One. So this is an exercise so you can practice uh, what we have been talking about. The present perfect versus the past simple, okay? So you tell me what's the answer, okay? Let's okay. Race. Okay. Uh, okay. About race? Oh, choose number one. Correct answer. Choose the correct answer. John is away on holiday. John is away on holiday. He has been to Mexico, he has gone to Mexico, or he's gone to Mexico. Has gone. Perfect. Yes, he has gone. Se ha ido a Mexico. Thank you. Okay, let's go with Karen. Karen, you go for the next exercise. <laughs> Choose the correct answer. 
because Mary seems to be enjoying her new school. She didn't have, doesn't have, hasn't had any problems so far. Doesn't, doesn't, ha, doesn't have. Doesn't have. Estamos comparando entre presente perfecto y pasado simple. Oh. Choose the correct moment, answer. Moment. Es que... Ten, nine. Ok. Es que, es... Okay, es que no veo bien las letras. Ajá. Has. She has, 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 no has, 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 has. Problem so far. No ha tenido ningún problema hasta ahora. Ok. Ok. okay. So far. Hasta ahora. Ok. Let's go with the next one for Iris. Se ve desenfocado, teacher. Se ve desenfocado. Sí, no se ve bien. Do it again. Ok. ¿Aún se le ha desenfocado? No, ahora no. se ve bien. Bien, bien. Un bit, ok. Uh, let's go, who was I with? ¿Con quién estaba? Ok. Iris. Sí. No, Iris, Iris Palacios. Sí. A ver, ¿cómo me va? Tengo problemas con, con ellos. <risa> Recuerden que es presente perfecto versus algo simple, ok? Let's see, so, William has lost her keys again. It is the third time this has happened, happens, happened. <coughs> Lilian ha perdido sus llaves de nuevo. Esta es la tercera vez que esto sucede. Has happened. Has happened, la primera. Yes, has happened, la tercera. Esto ha. Ahí ya. Es la tercera. Ok. Es la tercera vez que está leyendo. Mm -hmm. Good, let's go with Felipe. Felipe Linares. Yes, teacher. Ok, Felipe, let's go. Ready? So, you're out of breath. You're out of breath. Out of breath. Are you running? Have you been running or have you run? Have you been running? Have you been running? Okay. Veamos, let's see. ¿Qué es? Have you run? ¿Has corrido? ¿Has estado corriendo? ¿O estás corriendo? So, yo diría que es, have you run? Oh, good. Lo tomó como buena. Eso, eso es presente perfecto continuo, lo que estábamos hablando. Ok. Good, let's go with José. Soy Cabrero. Ya. Yeah. Where's the money I gave you? What have you done with it? What have you been doing with it? What are you doing with it? How have you been doing? What have you been doing with it? Mm -hmm. Ok, are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. No. What have you done with it? Oh! ¿Qué has hecho con él? Okay. ¿Qué has hecho con el dinero? Good. Let's go. Who's next? Let's see. Uh, I have Patricia. Yeah. It's the world. Huh? Okay. Here, Castillo. Yes, teacher. Ready? One, two, three. Let's go. They are very good friends. They have known each other for a long time. They know each other for a long time. They knew each other for a long time. They have been knowing each other for a long time. Mm, let's see the, the first. First one, they have known each other for a long time. Se han conocido okay, por mucho tiempo. Estoy hablando de una experiencia en el pasado que aún sigue ocurriendo. Okay, so that's person perfect they have known each other for a long time very good okay let's go with carlos escobar great job carlos? Oh. okay let's go Correct answer. rob has been working at the bank ron rob ha estado trabajando en el banco okay. since uh -huh. rob 
Rob has been working at the bank mm, for six months. Perfect. Very good, Carlos. For six months. Okay. Si fuese since, sería since six months ago. Since six months ago. Great job. Okay, let's go with Ulises. Ulises, ready? Yes, teacher. Let's do it. Ready, ready. It's She's two years. Cancer. Okay. It's two years since I saw Jim that I haven't seen Jim since I didn't see him that I don't see him. Since I saw. Since I saw. No, no. It's, it's two years. Ya que son dos años. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That I, that I don't see. That I don't see. That I don't see him. Mm, no. Okay. That I, I haven't seen. I haven't seen Jim. Okay. Very good. Let's go with Kenya. Oh, Janita, I'm sorry. Janita. Yes, teacher. Ready. Let's go. Ready. No sé si otra vez se mira desenfocado. Okay, listen. They haven't, they have gone out of water. I'm sorry. They have gone out after lunch and they've just returned. They went out of they went out after lunch and they have to just return. Or they are going out after lunch and they just return. Uh, let us see. They, no, no, let us be. Y, yes. Be. Se fueron después del almuerzo y acaban de regresar. Very good. Se fueron. They went out after lunch and they just returned. Y acaban de regresar. Very good. Teacher, es que casi sí. no se mira, o no sé si aquí conmigo, pero casi no se mira, no se lee. El, Fíjese el, que el es, es el, la velocidad de su internet. Eso ah, influye eso ahorita es. la señal. Probablemente el otros no tengan ese problema. Ok, ¿alguien que me pueda decir si mira bien? No, no se lee muy bien, teacher, las letras. Si lo hago más grande... No, el, okay, okay, vamos a probar de nuevo. Let's try again. Ya casi terminamos esa parte, pero entre más nos avanzamos, más difícil son las preguntas, okay? How about now? ¿Qué tal ahora? Okay. Yes. Sí, se ve bien. El tema es cuando aparecen las letras. Ya, ya sí. poner okay. Abigail, ready? One, two. Miguel Bonilla. Yeah. Okay. Ready. One, two, three. Choose the, the correct answer. The Chinese invented paper. The Chinese have invented paper or the Chinese had invented paper. A invented. Yes. Very good. Los chinos inventaron. El papel. Very good. Great job, Abigo. That's simple past. Una cosa que pasó en el pasado y solo ocurrió una vez. Okay, let's go with Iris. Iris Palacio. Or did I ask Kenya? Le pregunté a Kenya, ¿verdad? Okay. Get Iris Palacio is ready. One, two, three. Okay. Ian has lived in Wales for 10 years. Now he lives in Scotland. Or Ian lived in Wales for 10 years, has been living in Wales for 10 years. Oh, es algo que está pasando. No, entendí mal. Okay, Ian, ¿qué sería? Vivió en Wales por, por 10 años. Ahora vive en Escocia. Has to live, la opción A. Has lived in Wales for 10 years. Has to live in... Hmm. Bueno, que el pasado perfecto es... Para cosas que ocurren, no se van ocurriendo. Aquí era live. Live. Oh. Vivió. <risa> Tengo problemas. No te Ojo con eso. A él vivió en Wales por 10 años. Ok. Y ahora vive en Escocia. O sea que ya pasó eso de que vivía porque es lógico. Ahora vive 
ya en otro lugar, ¿ok? Bien, así vamos aprendiendo, no worry. Ok, Karen. Hi. Ok, ready, let's go. Ok, ok. The woman okay. sitting next to me on the plane was nervous because she hadn't flown before, she didn't fly before, she hasn't flown before, she wasn't flying before. The woman sitting next to me on the plane. <laughs> she, she, uh, uh, she, um, okay, she wasn't flying. She wasn't flying before? Mm -mm. No. No? Una experiencia, la mujer tenido la experiencia de volar antes. Oh, entonces, um, hasn't flown. Yes. Yes, she hasn't flown before. Ella no ha, no ha volado antes. Okay? No había volado. Okay. Very good. Okay. Almost there. Emperatriz, your turn again. Correct answer. Had they a car when they were living in Dublin? Did they have a car when they were living in Dublin? Have they had a car when they were living in London, in Dublin? Uh, let me see. A car when they were living in Dublin. Sería... The, la primera? No, no it's letter B, okay? I'm not sure. <laughs> they have a car. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let the eyes don't let me down. No me decepciones, yes. Okay. Let's go back to the who's on the top here. Felipe Linares. Let's do it again. Ready? Okay, Felipe. I I was watching television. I used to watch television a lot, but I don't anymore. I was used to watch television a lot, but I don't anymore. Ese tema lo toqué yo en mi chat, en el WhatsApp. Okay. I was watching. I was watching television a lot, but I don't anymore. Hmm. Yo estaba viendo televisión, but yeah. I used to watch. I used to watch. Be good, Abigail. I used to watch television a lot. Yo solía ver televisión mucho, pero ya no lo hago. Very good. Okay. Are you learning? Está aprendiendo algo? No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, look at that. You won. Okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> good. Okay. We didn't reach the three stars, but that's good enough. Okay. Good, guys. Le voy a enviar el link de este juego. Yo pienso que jugando se aprende muchísimo. Créamelo. Eso te desarrolla el cerebro de manera exagerada. Okay. So, shall we continue? Yeah. Okay. Let's continue with the with the topic on your platform. So today we are to read about or listen about for and since. Creo que hicieron este ejercicio ayer. Yeah. Okay. So we're we're going to talk about for and since. Okay. In this lesson in this session, the use of for and since will be explained throughout a video. Not the expressions. Not the expressions that they use in the video, okay? So, pay attention, please. This is very important. For and since. Oh, sorry. Esto se los explico un poco en um, la clase anterior, pero no quiero que quede ninguna duda. Ya mañana, prácticamente, nuestro último día de este módulo. Let's pay attention, okay? Hello, in this session, the use of for and since will be explained. Note the expressions. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. 
How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time. For six years, for a week, for a month, for hours, for two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Okay. <clears throat> Any questions with that? For. For. For how long? Esa es la pregunta. For how long? Any questions? Alguna pregunta? Mm -hmm. No. No, Karen? Okay. Okay, let's continue then. Yeah. Emperatriz, yes. Yeah. ¿Cuál sería la diferencia en sí de. Porque el de arriba dice sería el for más el periodo de tiempo, ¿verdad? Y el. Y en el. For is por. Sí. Por tanto tiempo, por seis años, por una semana, por un mes. O sea, bien, bien definido, ¿verdad? Bien. Uh -huh. Tiempo, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Pero yes. el de abajo sería eh, with, with for, o oh no, for también, ¿verdad? Solo sí, que... Ahorita solo for. El ejemplo solo es en for. Eh, for. Te puedo preguntar, how long, how long have we been in this class? How long have we been in this class? On It's 8.20 right now. So how long have we been in the class? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuánto tiempo? ¿Cuánto tiempo hemos estado en clase? Hemos estado en clase. For... 20, for example, for 27 minutes. Perfect. We've been in class for 27 minutes. Simple. For 27 minutes. Okay. Okay. We have, we have run for seven minutes. We have, yeah, we have watched TV for an hour. Okay. And the thing sería desde las ocho hasta las ocho treinta. Ya. Vamos a ver el since. Pero aterricemos el for, no hay ninguna otra pregunta. Una pregunta. How long have you been married? How long have you been married? ¿Cuánto tiempo has estado casado? How long have you been married? Uh, for 12 years. 12 years. I've been married for 12, for 10, for 8. Y esa es la cantidad exacta. Ese es el punto. Por tanto tiempo. ¿Ok? Good. Uh, okay. Let's let's look at since. Let's talk about since now. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning. Since last week. Since yet. Give me one second, please. Sorry. There's a dog on the background. Oh. Yesterday, since I was a child. Since Wednesday. Since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Okay, so as you can see, this is more specific. Okay, since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock, I have worked here since 1980. So, um, how long have we been in the class? How long have we been in the class? ¿Cuánto tiempo hemos estado en la clase? We have been in the class since eight o'clock. We've been in the class since 8 o'clock. Más específico. Okay. For example, she has lived here since 1980. 
Ella ha vivido aquí desde 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Somebody, can somebody translate this sentence? We have taught at this school since 1965. Ella, ellos enseñaron en esta escuela desde 1965. Yeah, we. Nosotros. Nosotros, very good. Ay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Next, Alice has been married. Listen, Alice has been married since March 2nd. Mm -hmm. Alicia ha estado casada desde, desde el 2 de marzo. Perfect. Okay. Somebody else was talking, actually. I, I heard Gloria, I think. Okay. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Somebody? Ellos han estado en el hotel desde el último jueves. Desde el último martes. Martes, perdón. Thursday, Tuesday, I know. Thursday, Tuesday, since last Tuesday. Desde el martes, podría decir incluso desde el último martes. Desde el martes. Ok. Desde el martes. Están en esa misma semana, so. Very good. Ok. That's the way you use uh, the simple pre present perfect with for and since. Questions. Any questions? This word teacher uh, doesn't have an order. An order. Um, since? Oh, you mean the, the preposition? Since? No, yes. No tiene un orden. Eh, va al, eh, antes de decir la fecha, ¿no? Al, se podría decir que al final de la oración, antes de decir el punto. Antes de decir. Oh. Ok. ¿Mm? Teacher, o sea que el since um, se pudiese usar al principio de la oración. Sería correcto. Dame un ejemplo. Let's give me an example. Um, yeah. Por ejemplo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, continue. You. <laughs> do it, do it. Um, sí. Desde 1900 y algo, yo hice. Yo he... Podríamos revertir esa oración, enseñé. Oh, ok. Since 1905, we have taught at this school. Sí, se puede. Desde 1965. Ok. And for teacher. Uh... I remember the song, It Is Me You're Looking For. Uh, uh, hello, is it me you're looking for? Yes, yes. Uh, Lionel Richie, uh, hello. <laughs> That's the name of the song. Yeah. Is it me you're looking for? Ese for eh, solamente da al final de... Otra función. Les decía, uh, hay preguntas que llevan al final una preposición. Es otro tema, ¿sí? Pero muchas preguntas, por ahí tengo un link que cuando nos toque ver eso les voy a enseñar cómo se hace. Y igual, hacemos una dinámica para entender el uso de las preposiciones al final de las preguntas. Ya sean cerradas, como, ¿Is it me you're looking for? ¿Sí? Bueno, tiene que ir ese for. Eh, pero es un tema aparte, bien extenso. Ok, uh, let's see. Eh, ese contexto en el que puso Emperatriz esto, eh, es como cuando alguien está peleando, ¿no? Y, y dice, es que desde 1980 esto ha sido así. Desde 1980, this has been this way. Ahí sí. Ok. Eh, la, el sentimiento con el que expre te expresas de esa manera tendría que ser el mismo en inglés. Ok. Since 1998, we haven't had a war. De 1998, no hemos tenido una guerra. No sé, se me ocurre. Yeah. O oh, lo opuesto, ¿no? Since 1998, we haven't had a war. We haven't had a war since 1998. 
se puede, se puede ocupar el principio y el final, pero todo depende del contexto en el que lo estás utilizando, ¿ok? Questions. More questions. Okay. okay. Hey, sir. Yes. I got a question. Who's talking? Uh, Teacher. Claro, thank you. Mm -hmm. No, uh, no, mi pregunta. Yo una vez, ahorita no tengo la palabra, pero escuché que una palabra era como sign, pero yo creía hasta este tiempo que era esta palabra, pero no sé si en inglés hay una que, que sí. diga sign, pero ahora sé que esta dice sin. Things. Sí, fíjate que la pronunciación, sí, tenés razón, muchos alumnos de hecho lo confunden, el sins con la pronunciación esa de signs, pero la única que se me ocurre ah. es science. Y lo estoy escribiendo, ok. Science. Pero eso quiere decir ciencia. Science. Mm -hmm. Talk about science and the pronunciation is different. Since. Since, science. Ok. Sí, porque es una vez, de hecho, este, en TV vi eso, pero no sé, dije, quizás fue error de, de, pro, de programación o, o, o alguien se equivocó directamente. Pues. Ok, since science. New invention. And teacher, one example, Ralph Lawrence, Exis, Sins, 1890. It's 1890. Um, ¿qué, ¿Qué es lo que existe? I'm sorry. Ralph, Ralph Lauren. Oh, Ralph Lauren, yeah. Exists, yeah. Exists since 19, I mean 1890, you said right. Since the 1890. Okay, yeah. Ralph Lauren exists since 1890. Ralph Lauren existe desde 1890. Really? Ok, that's the way it is. Así se utiliza, ok. Any other question? No more questions? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ok, so let me see um, somebody else. Laura, um, I think. Let me see. Gloria. Yes, teacher. Gloria, how old are you? <gasps> No, teacher, don't ask me. <laughs> 49 Lie. years old. Lie, okay, you're 49 years old, okay. How long have you been 49? How long? <laughs> don't understand the question. <laughs> How long have you been 49? Great. Like, huh? I have been great. No. Okay. Let no. We ask somebody else. Oscar, how old are you? I'm 30. How old are you, Oscar? I'm 30. No, you're 30, okay. How long have you been 30? One year. <laughs> oh, not a year, because if you have been 30 a year, then you are 31. Desde cuando los tienes, o... No sé si así si entiendo. <laughs> y casi. Uh -huh. Emperatriz, let's see. Emperatriz, how old are you? Oh, maybe. Uh, <laughs> 27. 27, okay. How long have you been 27? Uh, yo la entiendo igual que el compañero. ¿Desde hace cuánto tengo 27? Perfect. ¿Cuánto tiempo? I've been... Uh, 27? Let me... Uh, three, three months ago. Sí, been... tan largo. Perfect, you got it, Emperatriz. So, I've been 27 for three months. Okay, or 
I've been 27 since three months ago. Ago. He tenido 27 años por tres meses. He tenido 27 años desde hace tres meses. Desde hace tres meses. Ahí está la diferencia. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, I've been 30 for four months. Perfect. Ago. Uh, no, 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 ago. Ayer no decís ago. Hace. Oh, all right, all right. Estaría diciendo hace por tres, hace por cuatro meses. Mm, no, okay. El hace solo lo ocuparías con el since, since four months ago. Desde hace. Yeah, desde hace. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got it? Okay. That's it. Gloria, you got it? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay. Next question. Uh, Abigail. Hello? Okay, Abigail, are you married? No? I don't know. Ah, <laughs> are you? Um, I don't marry. Hey, because I am not married. Not, I'm not. Okay, good. Mm, let's say that yes, you are married, Abigail. Okay, so you will say yes, yes, I'm married. Okay. Okay. What would be the question, Abigail? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? ¿Es casada? Okay. Ajá, la pregunta era, ¿estás casada? Long? Estamos pretendiendo. Oh. So, yes. How long? Married. Ahora, excelente. How long? How long? Have, have you been married? Have you been married? How long? Married. Uh -huh. Have. Have you, have you been married? How long have you been married? ¿Cuánto tiempo has estado casada? Casada. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What would be the answer? Inventate una, una respuesta, Abigail. Ojo, es no se lo digo. I've been married for two years. I've been married for two years. Perfect. I've been married for two years. Ahora, digamos que ya no estás casada, te divorciaste. I was married. <laughs> I was married for... Ojo, siempre el for. I was married for two years. Okay. Ejemplo. Si quiero usar since, sería I've, I've been married since two years ago. I've been married since 2018. I've been married. Yeah. Very good. No hizo nada de tomar. ¿Cómo no? ¿Ah? <laughs> okay. Yes. I've been married since 2016. Okay. People. Since. Since, sorry. Since 2016. Hey, since 2016. Since 2016, since 2016. Okay. Last, last example. Uh, Karen. Karen. Um, Hi. Hi. Okay. Uh, listen. Do you have dogs? You have a dog? Yes, okay. I have a dog. Yes, I have a dog. Okay. A dog. Mm -hmm. How long for how long has you how long have you had him? Had it. How long have you had it? Um I I have um I have yo tengo um I have for two years I have had it uh, for I, two years yet. Okay. Yeah two years or since two years ago oh, Si quiero evitarme ese del ago, tendría que decir since y el año específico. Since. Uh, 
Uh -huh. okay. 2018. I have him. Okay. I have had it. I've had it for two years. I've had it for. I've had it since 2018. Okay. Questions. Preguntas. No hay preguntas. No hay preguntas. Yes, teacher. Eh, cuando puso en el ejemplo anterior que decía, I was married. Eh, solo ese tema no tiene nada que ver con este quizá pero sí me llamó la atención qué tiempo es ese cuando pone el was y el y el y el otro participio era en ese caso o era married yo estaba casado ajá okay esto I was married for ajá okay solo quiero saber qué, qué conjugación es esta. Esto se llama la voz pasiva. Uh -huh. oh. Ok, el verbo to be con un verbo en el pasado participio. Fácil. Uh -huh. Ok. okay. Um, Thank you. Se podría decir a uh, emperatriz. Uh, let's see, writes a book. Ok. Decir en voz. The ball was kicked by the book. Oh no, a book was written by Imperatrice. Okay. Y sigo diciendo, okay, um, uy, perdón. Eh, so Imperatrice writes a book. Mm -hmm. De hecho, podría, perdón, es presente con representante. Entonces sería. A book is written by Emperatriz. Emperatriz escribe un libro. Un libro es escrito por Emperatriz. Escrito. ¿Ok? Uh, okay. Fue escrito. Sí, porque en el. Eh, perdón. <ríe> ¿Sí? Ajá. Sí, porque en el español sí se entiende, ¿verdad? Pero ya en el inglés no sabía cómo se llamaba esa estructura. Ese tema es bien bonito y es tenerlo así nada más. El verbo que se ve afectado por el tiempo gramatical que ocupes. Puede ser pasado simple, futuro, ¿ok? Will be written. A book will be written by Emperatriz. Será escrito, fue escrito, es escrito, ¿ok? Ha sido teacher 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 and we can say we can say the ball was kicked by Pablo. Oh yeah, perfect. Eso es otro ejemplo perfecto. The ball. Hey, hold on. Mm. That. By Pablo. Ball was kicked. The ball was kicked by Pablo. La pelota fue pateada. Very good. And this is another tema. No salimos del guacal. Okay, so good. Thank you. Right, no more. Let's move on. And now you have another knowledge check. Okay. Okay, a todos completaron esos ejercicios, verdad? Yeah. Yes. Yes, teacher. Let's see. Can you help me? Can you help me answering the questions? Let's see. Pam was in Central America. Okay. So Pam was in Central America for for a month. Let's see. Yeah, it is for. I've been a college student. For for. For all years, yes. Okay. Hiroshi has been at work. Science. Since. Okay. Since 6 a.m. Very good. I haven't gone to a party. For. 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 For a long time. For a long time. What? Um, for the longest time. Very good. Paul McCartney. <laughs> yeah. Josh Lee. Bella. For two years. Five years. For two years as a kid. For 
years as a kid. Ya les dije, esta palabra se le mucha fuerza, eh. Years. 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 As a kid. Okay, my parents have been on vacation for Monday since... Sing. Sing. Very good. Last, next. Uh, Natalie was engaged to Danny. Four. Four. Six Four. months. Six months. Six months. Six months. Four. Six months. Okay. Pat and Valeria have been best friends. Sing. High school, then day la secundaria. Very good. We have been in class since, since 5 30 p.m. Desde las 5 y media. Babies have cried since 30 minutes for perfect. Yes, for 30 minutes since 30 minutes. Okay, do you still have any questions? Any questions? No questions? Okay. No. Let's see if I can make this smaller. Okay. Don't forget, don't forget that what you have to use for the past perfect is verbs in past participle. So let's go with this really quick. What is the participle of do? Done. 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 Gone. 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 Eat. Eaten. Eaten. <laughs> Let's continue. See. Seen. Make. Mate. Make. Mate. Take. Take. Taken. Taken. Very good. Listen. 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 Perfect. Listen. Read. 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 Play. 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 Oh, play. Drink. 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 Very good. So he or she? She. Okay. What is next? She didn't. Un, uh, no, eat. Where's the other? Eating. Eating. Uh -huh. Lunch. 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 Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. They. She. 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 Has. She. She has taken. Taken. Uh, a shower. 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 Perfect. She or he? He. 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 Okay. Has, have, or hasn't? He has. has. He 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 has. Right. Oh, negative, negative. Oh, okay. She. 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 Drown. Drown. She. 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 On the board, on the board. She hasn't been on the board. Very good, guys. He or she? He. 
bastante ruido eh, por ahí <risa> recuerden traten de estar en un ambiente un poquito eh, con sin ruido no durante la sesión para no interrumpir la clase mucho Good. Eh, siempre trataré de que las clases sean así como muy dinámicas que ustedes estén participando no yo nada más hablando eh, practiquen con esos links que les voy a enviar y mañana vemos el último tema y cerramos la clase con la revisión de todos los ejercicios de su examen final. Si no lo han completado, porfa, háganlo. Tienen hasta el viernes para terminar todos esos ejercicios, ¿ok? Bien. Okay. ok. Good night. Good night. Thank Good you, night, teacher. teacher. Thank you. Bye. And see you tomorrow. Tomorrow.